I want to tell y'all a story before I wrap this up. It's a story about a father and a daughter. They were coming home from a revival one night and the father let the daughter drive home. She was his assistant, if you will. And while she was driving home, a bad storm broke out. And the daughter being a new driver, she got a little bit scared. She looked over at her father and she said, Daddy, you think I should pull over? And the father said, no, no, baby. Just keep on driving. So she kept on driving. But then the storm, it got worse. She looked over at her father. She was scared. She said, Daddy, are you sure? You sure you don't want me to pull over? The daddy said, no, no, baby. Just keep on driving. But the storm, it got so bad that the daughter could barely see an inch in front of her face. Other cars started pulling over in the storm. Even 18 wheelers started pulling over in the storm. She looked over at her dad and she was in fear. And the dad said, just keep on driving. And then eventually, they made it through the storm. And the daddy said, okay, baby, now pull over. So she pulls over the car. She has a grin on her face and she looks at her dad and says, okay, daddy, I know why you wanted me to pull over now. He said, why is that, baby? She said, you want me to thank God for bringing us through the storm. He smiled back and said, yeah, baby, that's it. But there's another lesson that you got to learn here. She said, I don't understand. He said, get out of the car. I'll show you. So they get out of the car. He says, turn around and look back. Tell me what you see. She said, I see the storm. He said, no, 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 baby. That's not all you see. Tell me what else you see. She said, I don't get it, daddy. He said, baby, where are all of the cars that pulled over in the storm? Where's the 18 wheeler that pulled over in the storm? She said, they're still in the storm. He said, that's it, baby. That's the lesson that I want you to learn. You see, when you pull over, you make the storm last longer. But if you just keep on going and keep moving ahead and keep believing that it's possible and keep your hope and keep your faith, then you will make it through your storm. Thank you. That's my time.
Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to today's segment of Pressing Matter. My name is Cindy Amayfle, your host. So Pressing Matter is a program that we hold every Sunday by 3 p.m. And I want to welcome you once again. Today's topic is a very, very, very important one. Why is it very important? It's important because so many ladies are, you know, um, so many relationships are at the verge of breaking because of these little, little things that we do not pay attention to. So on today's pressing matter, I'm going to tell you so many things that you have to do as a man to bring out the best in your woman. Yes. Do not underestimate the power of a woman. I want you to listen, share this post, this video rather, and then, you know, put on watch party. So let's listen to one more song by Evangelist Chris Emoji. The Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah.
you are welcome back to Pressing Matter. If you're just joining us um, on today's topic of Pressing Matter, we're going to be talking about how to bring out the best in a woman. A woman here, I'm not talking about any kind of woman. I'm just saying um, even the girl, child, even um, any your, your girlfriend, your wife, any woman at all, you know, abroad, uh, 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 women are treated with care but i think in this um um this part of the continent women are taken as as nothing sometimes you know sometimes they are regarded as because the bible calls them the weaker vessel does not mean that women should not be respected or their views should not be respected so it is very very important that we understand that women have God had given every woman a power, a right, also on earth. So today I'm going to be telling you a few things that would help you to know how to bring out the best in every woman. Every woman, any girl child, any girl child, you must learn to treat a girl child with respect, you know. There are certain things, you know, when you see a child rebellious, a girl child rebellious, just know that there is something you're not getting right that is making that child behave in that manner. So today I'm going to tell you a few things that will make, um, bring out the best in every child, even the little girl in your house, your baby, your wife, your girlfriend, bring out the best in her. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is, you know, um, uh, every woman, you know, from their father's house, they go to, into their, 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 they have a fiancé, they, then they get married and, uh, and, are uh, um, living with their husbands. So their husbands become their head. So because their husbands become their head, there are certain things every man needs to know about a woman, you know. So first Peter chapter. The three verse seven says, I'm reading from the good news translation. In the same way, you, you husbands must live with your wives with the proper understanding that they are more delicate than you. Treat them with respect. Then it says, they also will receive together with you God's gift of life so that nothing will interfere with your prayers. This is very important because, okay, I, I, I use this translation because it helped me to understand this verse perfectly. So it says, in the same way, you husbands must live with your wives with proper understanding. That what does this mean? You must understand every woman that lives with you. You must understand that, okay, that every woman you know, has a temperament. You must understand everything about that woman that is living with you, that girl that is living with you, that baby girl that is living with you, okay? Because he said, he said, treat them that they are more delicate than you. He said, treat them with proper understanding that they are more delicate than you. Treat them with respect. Treat them with respect. Treat every woman with respect. Treat every woman with respect. I'm, I'm not speaking my words here. I'm speaking from the word of God. Treat every woman with respect. I will tell you why you must do this. You must do this because of something. Okay? It said, and it, it, says, it says, they also will receive together with you God's gift of life. They too will receive together with you. There is an inheritance that a woman also receives with you. Okay? Do this so that nothing will interfere with your prayer. Do this so nothing would interfere with your prayers. You need your husband at home. You need to learn how to treat your wife, to bring out the best in her. And when you bring out the best in her, the best in every woman does not benefit the woman. It benefits the man. So if you don't learn how to treat the woman to bring out the best in her, 
then you will end up hurting yourself. Remember, when God created man, he brought out the woman from the man. That means the woman is you as well. Not because she's an, they called her a woman and you are seeing her physically. That doesn't mean that she should be treated, you know, differently. She should be treated the same way you want to be treated. You, you want to treat yourself. You want God to treat you. Okay, it is very important. See, listen, listen to me. I I have gotten some revelation about who a woman is. And I am I'm sharing this because it's going to help you, the man. I see some men, they treat their girlfriends anyhow. They beat their wives anyhow. Why? Because they feel they are nothing. But they don't know that there is something in that woman that keeps them going. There is something in that woman that makes the man who he is because that woman came from you she was brought out from of you so you need to learn to treat her to bring out the best in that woman it is very very important that we learn this it is very important you want to be richer as a man learn to bring out the best in the woman i will read a couple of scriptures in proverbs 31 where the bible tells the, the, the right woman so i'm going to tell you these things so that it is for your own good your own benefit you treat your wife your girlfriend anyhow you like because you think she is weak the woman is not weak let me give you an instance when you go to the market to buy um meat the female meat takes time a longer time to cook than the male meat. The male meat in some few minutes or, or hours, you know, they, it's boiled. But the female meat, there is something about this woman that God called weak. There's something about her, she's weak, yet she is tough. This woman can do a multitask. She can do different things. Why is she like that? The other time I was speaking to my husband about uh, uh, he was uh, he showed me a picture about um uh, of uh, uh, when a, a man is cooking the way he he takes care of the kitchen while he's cooking he's cleaning up the place and all of that and the woman when she's cooking she's thinking of what she the the the, the clothes in and the washing machine so she's trying to and she's thinking of the man if she keeps washing and doing this thing and doing that the children will get, be hungry and the man will be hungry she's thinking them the man sometimes they feel that we don't do those things because we are not neat yet we are the ones that clean up the place right they can spend three hours to cook something that the woman will use one hour to dish out do you see so everything you do to a woman whether good or bad benefits you and not the woman is for your own good and not the good of the woman alone. Okay, so um, number one thing that every woman needs to bring out the best in her is understanding and respect. Yes, we are to understand and respect our husbands as well. That is very, 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 very important because every man, um, what every man desires from his woman is to have respect for him. Likewise, the woman deserves to have, to be understood and be respected as well. The woman needs to be respected as well. Why am I saying this? The Bible says in Colossians chapter 3 verse 19, it says, Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Do not be harsh with them. Oh, glory to God. Do not be harsh with them. So you must respect that woman that God has given to you. You must respect that woman. Don't, don't, don't take any woman for granted. Do not do that. Don't treat her anyhow because she's a woman, because she's your wife. If she doesn't want to stay, she can't go. No, don't treat a woman like that. Don't treat her. If you want to prosper as a man, do not be your wife. I don't. Understand this about the wife. The number two thing a woman needs 
is to be feel loved to feel loved okay every woman wants to know that her husband her boyfriend her father loves her let me tell you something about the girl child and her father if you do not love your girl child listen to me if you don't love your girl child she will start looking for love outside that's what makes a girl start looking for boyfriends outside <laughs> yes that is very true a girl child needs to know that her father loves her genuinely buy her things make sure that everything she needs at home she has yes make sure she has those things because her boyfriend will her and buy those things that you to buy for her you tell her too small to have this and tomorrow she goes outside at 13 at 14 she already has a boyfriend who's taking care of her it's important that we know these things it's important that we understand that every girl child needs to feel that you love them every husband your wife needs to know that you love her the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, I'm reading from, um, from the Good News Translation. It says, husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave his life for it. Husbands, love your wife. It doesn't matter how old she is. After all, when you met her, she was so young and she was so beautiful and you loved her. So what happened now? What happened now? She has changed. Her body has changed. You get to body shame the wife. You got married and got pregnant and she became pregnant with your children. And now you're body shaming her for what? You begin to compare her to other people outside. No, that is wrong. You do that. You are doing it to your detriment. The Bible says, love your wives. When, let me listen to me, when you want to bring out the, the best in your wife, you need to learn to love her. You need to learn to love your wife. If you don't love that, we just be. You bring, you bring, you know, a different creature than what God has put in that woman. So it's very important that we, we know this. It's very important not feel loved. You know, is a subtext of every argument that you 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 and your partner have. Sometimes the wife complains, I'm not this man is not showing me love. You see the girl child at home, my father does not love me because he's not paying attention to the child. Not that he does not love his wife. He she needs to know that you actually love her. That child needs to know that my father is in, my father loves me. And how do you express love? Most times, do women, women, you know, the love is expressed through giving. Make sure that she has, as long as you have money to get that thing for your wife, for your child, your girl child, make sure you get her that thing. She, if, if you don't want her to have that thing, then explain to her that, why she shouldn't have that thing in love let her know that she is loved if she is unhappy that you are going out with friends or she's upset about her uh, you know her day at work you need to understand the love you have for her will make you know when she is in her mood during her uh, menstrual cycle there's you know the, the, the hormones change and she begins to act anyhow you need to know that uh is the time oh that's when she usually behaves like this just leave her alone just like a pregnant woman is always angry oh angry that this happened this uh, you know little things irritate them you need to know when your wife is angry you know when you feel love for her you need to know how to treat her at that point you don't just women are so delicate women are delicate that's why I, 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 I pity men who beat their wives. You don't know you are beating yourself. You are beating yourself. You are treating yourself badly. You have a girl. See, let me tell you something. Girlfriend, you have a boyfriend and he is not treating you right. Listen to me. The only person you need to submit to is your husband, not your boyfriend. 
you are to submit to your husband not the man who have not he hasn't paid your bride price you are submitting to him no no when he says something you don't like when he says something your father says you should not do don't do those things you don't have he does not have any right to ask you to do those things doesn't have the right doesn't have the right okay so it's very important that every woman needs you know feel the love you have for them it's very important i want to read from from proverbs 31 verse 10. this passage of the bible says a capable intelligent and virtuous woman who is he who can find her she is far more precious than jewels and her value is far above rubies or pearls listen to me if you want to bring out an excellence the excellence in your wife in the child you need to do these things i'm telling you you need to bring out see a woman does not just behave anyhow watch out when your wife starts misbehaving check you are the cause it's either you are doing something she does not like women we know how to blank you. We tell you do your worst. Too. We know how to deliberately say, hey, okay, now let's keep watching. They just blank. But if you want her respect, you need to learn to love her. You need, she needs to see that you are in really in love with her. So number three thing that every woman needs to know is to feel safe. She needs to know that when she's with you, she is safe. This is a war being waged on women's self-esteem, sexuality, and, you know, and safety from a very young age. From a very young age. Because of the, 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 the barricade and these uh, empowering messages being sent to women regarding their sexuality. Women need to know that they're safe with you. When they are with you, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe. If they're in the company, your company, they need to know that I'm safe. That girl child that, that's staying with you, that house help that is staying with you, needs to know that if I'm in this house, I'm safe, regardless who of who the male in the house, the man in the house. That child walking on the street needs to know that if I walk past the street, no matter the hour of the day, I need to know that I, I know that I'm going to be safe and not be raped. If you need to bring out the best in a woman, number three thing, she needs to feel safe in your hands. That wife needs to know that my husband, you know, no matter the, the, the challenges, the woman needs to have safe space where they, they feel that they can trust their partners. They need to know that they want, you know, they, they, they want to trust your strength. They need to trust your strength. They don't need to trust your strength. She wants to feel like, like you can handle whatever she shows you. Listen to me. I have the story of a man, a, a man of God. Yes, a pastor who his wife left after so many years, you know. This woman left for a program. She's a, a musician and she left for a program and came back into the house and found her husband, the pastor of their church, praying against her, asking God to bring down my wife, bring down my wife. Don't let my wife be greater than me. Your wife needs to know that if she shows and shares your talent, her talents with you, that that thing will be safe. She needs to know. It's very, very important. She needs to know that if she shares her dreams with you, you will not, you know, it, 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 because you are jealous of her, you, you tarnish it, you, 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 you suppress that dream. I'm not, I say a woman that I, 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 I met somewhere, a great woman, but her husband was praying and saying, God, do not let my why my wife grow she, she should not be be known more you know because she's always been invited to different places and he's a pastor 
The woman needs to be feel safe in your hands. She needs to be, feel safe. It's a terrible thing. She needs to be safe. Treat her with delicacy. You know, by creating a safe space for a woman to open up to you emotionally and sexually, you will be giving her a powerful gift. You allow her to grow within you. I, every woman needs to feel safe that my husband will go out and he will not come back and impregnate the woman outside and do evil against the wife. Every woman needs to know that. When she knows this, you are bringing out the best in her. Every woman needs to feel safe. After this number of years in marriage, this man will not throw me out and get married to a younger person. She needs to know. When she starts seeing you misbehaving, listen to me. You will just see a different type of person in her. So number one is that the woman needs to feel seen. So women want to feel seen. She wants to feel you hearing her. Not because she's a woman. I think she does not have the things to contribute to. Is she, you know, what, what, is she not a woman? What does she have to say? Listen, this is a present matter. It's a present matter because I, if a man wants to live a long life, he needs to learn to bring out the best. Makes him live longer, prosper as a man. The best you bring out in a woman makes her to, you know, respect you, to build for you, not to keep secrets, you know. Oh, I wish you can read Proverbs 31. I wish you can read Proverbs 31. About who is a virtuous woman. To bring a virtuous woman in her, you need to make her feel seen. Hear her. Be, a, be, be aware of the emotional being, emotional part of her. If she's crying, go and cuddle her. Sometimes women are very, very, you know, emotional. We seem to be so emotional. So life can seem extremely lonely even within the relationship if the woman does not feel that you are noticing the things that she has. You have to constantly show your, your partner that at least one person will be a witness to her and her journey through life. That woman has a gift. Have you ever helped her to enhance it? Or are you being hurt? You kept her at home? Haven't you heard of women who are the richest women in the world? Then you kept yours at home. You married that girl. You promised her that her parents are going to, that you would take care of her. You would you, you take her to school. And then you got married to her impregnated her she had kids for not even open university that she would sit at home to study you did not enroll that that girl child you have a house help she does not have go to school she's not learning any skill <laughs> you are doing the wrong thing you are doing the wrong thing it is very important that we feel she, she that will feel seen you know the number five thing that you need to know about the woman is to be appreciated. The woman needs to be appreciated for you to bring out the best in her. She needs to be appreciated. The feminine nine in all people responds primarily to praise and appreciation. So every woman, every woman needs to be appreciated. Every woman needs to be appreciated. Remind your partner that you love her. Don't always tell her the things she's not doing right. Don't always do that. 
appreciate the little things she does if you see yeah, when you shower her with this kind of praises you see the way that this woman would bring out you will bring out something good in her sometimes when i when i cook with and out of uh, um, maybe i'm angry and i cook my husband must tell me that maybe this food is not sweet though it's a must because that food will not be cooked with love but when i'm happy and i enter the kitchen <laughs> they used to testify very important appreciate the woman appreciate your wife it is very very important that we learn to appreciate her she brings to your life tell her that since baby since you came into my life my life has had a meaning whether it's true or not tell her that if you if you don't tell her that i don't know how you bring out the best in her show her how much you mean she means to you okay so number 16 is she needs to feel like she can count on you the woman needs to feel that she can count on you yes every woman needs to know that i can count on my husband i can count on my father i can count on my boyfriend i know that okay this relationship he has promised that he's going to marry me. I know he will keep to his word. Okay? Learn. Life gets pretty messy sometimes. When life's unaffordable uh, difficulties arise, do you fall apart under pressure or are you able to bend and not break? When things happen, when you hear certain things that say you love, are you able to bend or break or you know she needs to know that no matter this man would always love me he says he loves me no matter what no matter what so i want to know that we can handle ourselves when life happens when things wrong in the whole the woman know that my boyfriend is in charge. My father is in charge. They need to know. When they want, you know, when they want, uh, uh, want to know that we won't run and hide, when pressure, when there is pressure, it's very, very important, okay, that you show that to your house, to your partner. Okay, so number seven thing is to grow together as a couple rather than one person improving and getting better while the other one stays the same. So the person needs to know, the woman needs to know that everything you're doing, you know, in life, everything in the relationship, she's involved as in she, she's part of the plan. You don't just keep her skills you didn't uh, help her to acquire school you didn't take her to school you didn't take her to school so it is very very important that she knows that, that the 18 is to be going in the same direction the woman know you should know that you know when a woman knows that ah this man mm, this my boyfriend we're going in direction having the same dreams, goals, and plans for the future. She needs to know. She needs to know. She needs to know. Husband, you're watching me. Your wife needs to know that we are going in the same direction. You are going in the same direction. So number 19 is to be able to trust you. Your wife needs to trust you. Let me tell you something. In every relationship where trust is broken, you can. It's hard to 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 mend. It's hard to build a trust. It is very hard. So the woman to invest in a woman for a woman to give you her whole self. <laughs> she needs to know that you trust her, that she trusts you to trust you, and you trust her. 
you need to trust. Let me tell you, some men have deprived their wives of working because they don't. They feel one thing or more than they keep her at home. At the end of the day, they are, they don't know that they are suffering them, themselves. Because when life happens and he loses his job, where would he fall? What would he be falling back to? His wife. His lovely wife. So don't, please. Don't. Always trust your wife. And show her things that will make her trust you. So number 10 thing is to be open and com uh, 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 open com without needing to hide things from each other. Listen to me. Tell your wife everything. Those matter what it is that is hearing those things always tell her things the wife that loves you no matter what, what the situation no matter what the challenge is she would stick by you she will be there with you okay always be open to her let her be the first to hear it before an outsider is it before the lead members hear it external family extended families hear them okay so okay number 11 to be able to laugh and have fun if i'm in my house my husband is my best friend mm. yeah you need to, the woman needs to know that you are her best friend don't go and have a friend outside that you will go and gist and gist and gist with. And then you come home and you start frowning. They know you as that father that when you are coming, you will start shouting from the staircase or from the door. Who did this? Who did that? Everybody we had, the wife is hiding from the, the husband. No fun at home, went home. But when people see you outside, you are a very only good fellow. It's important. That you have fun and laugh with your wife. Take her out when you need to take her out. Very, very important. Okay? So, rounding off now, I'm going to be telling us benefits of bringing out the best in your partner. There are benefits. See, it's a cause of, you know, because I want you, the man, to prosper. Because I want you, the man, to be in good health. Because I want you to, the man, to live long. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this thing. Next week, I'm going to be telling women, you know, talking about what men need to. But today, I started with women first. Okay? So what are the benefits of bringing out the best in your partner? Number one, it brings out the best in you. Hey! Did I say that earlier? Yes, I did. I said it helps. It brings out the best in you. You, the man. When your wife is happy, you are happy. When your wife is happy, you will prosper at work. Your business will start going well because, in, yes, Proverbs um, uh, 31 verse 31 said something that she wakes up at night to do spiritual things. She will have the joy to be doing spiritual things for you, to be fasting and praying for you. So it brings out the best in you. Whatever you sow, you will reap. So if you treat her wrongly, you will receive bad, bad things. What you should do, you know, ways you should react should be in such a way as to bring out the best in him or her. I'm talking to a male and female, no matter who the person is now, whether you're a man or a woman. When you treat your, fam your, your spouse well, your partner well, you bring out the best in yourself. Okay? So number two thing is that it brings, it helps you both. You know, you're both of you to fulfill God's work or assignment for your relationship. It helps you to fulfill God's assignment in your life. It helps you. When your wife is happy, when your family is happy, your own you rank or there won't be malice. You know, two of you would sit down and talk about things that will work. And it's it's important. Important. Okay. Then it it creates a wonderful environment for your. I wonder what 
people who divorce, who get divorced, Lydia, I, I, I wonder what they are thinking. I would only um, not blame those that their fathers broke when they were growing up and then they got married uh, and the same thing happened to them. That you should know that that's a generational cause. That's, that's a foundation that is worrying them. Okay? So you just leave your you just wake up one morning and then you leave your family you leave your children and then leave them to suffer leave them to suffer then they don't grow well you see you eh, this auntie we train them the other auntie we train them it's important my dear okay they will observe both of you and desire to grow and become like you if you're the man that beats up his his wife the children will learn how to beat up their, their wife. So you need to learn how to treat your partner so that your children will grow well. So that they will grow well. Okay? So the number three thing is that it creates an atmosphere of health that will help you. Your growth. It helps. It helps. Love is the decision that you take which requires lots of effort. It requires effort to love a woman. It requires lots of effort to love your partner. Like, you know, I just see a woman, there are so many women out there, and then you choose one. You say, I am going to give you my love. I'm going to give you my love. It takes effort. This effort can only be achieved when you submit to it. The Holy Spirit that helps you to love your partner if it is the partner is doing oh no 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 i don't want this person but because the holy spirit in you is to help you to love that person better okay so so now in rounding off i want to say something you need to be very very patient with your your spouse very patient with every woman women we be our deck well, <laughs> it's true. We men can give her the key. Ah, the man will say, what did I get it to? Especially when we, they squirrel at home and you see the woman's mouth. Pata, 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 pata. Yay, we know how to talk. We know we are not strong. We cannot even be the man yet. Our mouth. Learn to be patient. Patience means daring you know pains and trials very calmly and without any complaint that is why the first thing love is is patience bible says that love is patience so for you to love that you need to be patient patient okay it's very important that you learn to bring out the best in your woman it's important it's important. So, I wish I, I I hope I'm able to convince you that when you do these things, you bring out the best in that woman you are living with, your wife. It's very important. It's very important. Thank you for joining me today on Pressing Matter. Remember. I have a new single coming out. Oh, hey, that song is powerful. That song is powerful. I want you to expect it. It's called We Declare Your Name. Listen to me. When that song come out, I want you to please share it. It will be out on the 28th of October, 2020. That's my birthday. So if it come out, the birthday gift you're going to give to me is to make sure that that song goes all around the world. If you love me and you're my friend of me, and you are not just following me to be monitoring me, you have to be a part of my life right now. Okay? I want please, you know, share this video if you're watching me and then, you know, like my page, Cindy and maybe then my subscribe on YouTube. And as you do, God will bless you. And the thing that you lay your hands to do will definitely prosper. Thank you so much for joining me. Follow me on Instagram at the real Cindy. And 
Thank you and God bless you. I want to leave you now with this special song. Again, I survive Cindy. Bye for now.